we're back with another video we got david here it's wash day um and it's also game day so i gotta wash his hair and get him ready for his game tonight so we can't just have him going out looking all kind of crazy so i've already washed it and conditioned it we use aussie um miracle uh smooth shampoo Followed up with the three minute miracle conditioner with um, the jojoba oil and avocado. We let that sit in instead of the three minutes for 10 minutes. We just rinsed it out and I'm gonna walk you through what we're going to do next, how we deal with his curls with boys with long hair. David, look up, say hey. Hi. <laughs> um, so get ready to do this process with us. We will be using True Nourishing Leave-In Conditioner. I love the fluffiness of it. We will be using Miracle Curls Taming Frizz Cream. So get you some of that. And then we will be following up with Miss Jessie's Pillow Soft Curls to make it very soft and bouncy. Get those things and come back with us and join us in just a minute. All right, puppy, you ready? How do you want your hair today? Do you want the plaits? Do you want braids? Do you want ponytails? What you looking for today? Ponytails. You say, what, what kind of, oh, you talking about like one ponytail? Like a uh, puff? Two. Or you, you want two puffs? Mm -hmm. That's how you want to play the game is with two puffs today? Um, how about just one? Kid? So you want one puff on top of your head? Mm -hmm. We can make that happen. All right, so um, we're going to take you some of this Nourish and Leave-In Conditioner, okay, and get you a good amount. We're going to massage this in. This is just going to help really detangle everything and make it easy to comb. Let's get that all the way in to the roots. Um, David's hair has grown a lot. He probably hasn't washed it in about two weeks because i've been gone out of town but normally he's wash we wash his hair once a week um so it may be quite tangled today just because it's been so long um we'll separate it into sections make sure that you have you a wide tooth comb this makes this process so much easier um and less of a hassle with someone who is tender-headed i'm blessed in that david don't complain too too much but he does make faces don't you david mm -hmm. <laughs> all right so we're just going to start combing out the sections you want to keep it wet the entire time um you're doing this process so keep you a water bottle by so that way you can um definitely uh wet it when it starts to feel like it's getting dry this whole process is a whole lot easier on both yourself and the child if you keep it moist the entire time. So we've almost got this section um, completely combed out already almost. Um, not too, too bad on this side. As you see, I start at the ends and I work my way up. Never just put the comb in and start combing. You gotta tease it and that's the key. Okay, so we got that section done. Can you hold your head up for me, Pop, for this part? He is currently playing Among Us. Can you tell the camera what Among Us is about? I don't know what it's about. You don't know what it's, it's about? It's just a fun game? Yeah, I never played it before. Oh, okay. Alright, well, he's playing Among Us on the iPad. That's keeping him busy so that I can do his hair. At this point, I'll take anything. David, do you like having long hair? Mm-hmm. 
Okay. Why do you like having long hair as a little boy? Like, what makes you like your long hair? Um, I actually don't really know. You don't know? Is it because it's curly? Is it because it's soft? Like, what about you makes you like it? Soft and curly. Soft and curly. Um, you used to have really long hair a few years ago. What made you want to cut it? Everybody kept calling me a girl. Because everybody kept calling me a girl. Does that bother you now? Now that you're older, would it bother you if somebody said, oh, you got long hair like a girl? No. So you've grown a lot, basically, is what I hear you telling me, is that now it doesn't bother you what people say about your hair. You just like your hair for you? Mm-hmm. Well, that's good. I like that, babe. Never let anybody make you feel like just because you have long hair that it makes you into being like a girl or anything like that. Your hair does not define you. And you couldn't be more boyish than anybody else in this house. He's the most athletic person in the entire house. Um, he just loves his hair and there's nothing wrong with it. He's got a great grade of hair. So we've gone through, we've combed it all completely out. Let me dry my hands off real quick. I'm gonna saturate it with some water again. And then we are going to add um, the freeze tame, frizz tame, so that way it does not get frizzy. So this is just a little bit of water and olive oil in here. We're just gonna kind of saturate it really well. And we're gonna add the frizz cream and come through with a Denman brush. If you don't have a Denman brush, invest in one. Um, they're great for people with uh, very curly hair. It's gonna take about that much. Okay, we're gonna uh, put this throughout the hair. Remember, the more product you have, the better that the hair actually will look. The least amount you put on it, the more it'll look frizzy and you just don't want that look. So we're gonna get this all rubbed in. Make sure you rub it in because if not, it'll clump up and that's not a good look either. So we're gonna get this all rubbed in here because we don't want it to clump up and David does need an edge like bad. He really, really does because it has grown out so, so much. He's got hair like his mama. Okay, we're just gonna start combing this in. And do not use a towel on their hair. Use a t-shirt, like when trying to dry it and getting some of the excess product out at the end. We're gonna wanna use a t-shirt for that process, not a towel. A towel causes the frizz and makes the hair look really dried out and that's not the process or the look we are ultimately going for. So, yeah. Right now, I'm using the Denman brush to work the product all the way in through the ends. And um, just kind of make sure it's going all the way through. And what you see, like if you see any other particles flying, that's the excess product as it's going through the hair. And normally I would put David's hair in like some plaits because it lasts longer, but he wants to wear like a ponytail or do you want a man bun or you want a ponytail? You want a curl puff ponytail or you want like a man bun? Hmm? You want like one ponytail where it's just curly or you want a man bun? Oh, uh, man bun. Man bun, I thought so. If you follow David on Instagram, his Instagram is man bun Dave. That's right. Okay. Um, he does a bunch of different stuff on there. We're going to try to post more pics and stuff of his hair on there because that's the whole purpose of his IG is to help other little boys be encouraged to have their hair, you know, without being like scared or ashamed or anything like that. We actually um, had, if you guys follow or watch here on YouTube, Geo Filipino. Um, a few years back, we reached out to him and, you know, just kind of told him how David was going through with 
the emotional side of growing long hair and like people picking and all that kind of stuff. And he gave us some very good advice and um, just kind of said for us to stay strong. Don't let nobody, you know, let your hair define you. And it really helped him out. And that's how David is um, a lot stronger today as far as not letting, you know, the hype of being a boy make him want to cut his hair off. Because you can be a boy and still have hair. And that's what we want to tell other little boys. David, tell the camera how old you are. Nine years old. He is nine years old. He turned a big nine on what day? December 9th. That's right. December the 9th, he turned nine years old. He's a big boy now. This year, he'll be going into double digits. Um, and that's exciting. And he is in what grade? Third. Third grade. So, um, he's really a big boy and he's growing up and he knows what he likes. And I think it's very important young in a child's life to let them make some decisions as far as like their hair care and types of clothes that they want to wear. It's good to let them have a voice. And this is David's way of having his voice. And um, his hair is beautiful and it's easy to manage. And I mean, it looks great. And he's got supportive parents. So support your child if that's what they like. There's nothing wrong with that. All right, Dave. We do need to get a little bit of a trim soon though. Cause I'm looking at your ends and they're starting to look just a little frizzy. And we want to keep them straight on the end, okay? So we might get like a little small, tiny trim of a haircut okay. on the tips of your ends. And then I think it'll be good after that. But look how long it is now. Like, if you go to David's I, uh, IG, his Instagram, you'll see pictures of him with his hair like all the way to his butt. This was three years ago, though. Um, then he cut it all off. And um, we're growing it back now. And I mean, it's actually growing at a fast rate. We've been growing his hair for maybe a year now. And I mean, let's see if I can pull these out without messing it up too much. But like his hair is about right here right now. So it's, it's growing really fast. All right, let me get your scrunchie for your bun. And just like that, David's hair is done for today. And we will let the excess, um, the excess conditioner that's in it dry. He's got his little man bun. I'll probably style it a different way after the game, but this is the way he wants to wear it for the game. So, yeah. But you really do need a bridge. All right. You like it? Mm-hmm. All right, buddy. I think we're all done. I will dry your edges off with this towel, but just your edges. You need to get the iPad fixed. What's the button not working. Okay. Always swipe away. Oh. All right. Well, thanks, YouTube. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Go get these amazing Aussie products and also Miss um, Jessie's Pillow Soft Curls and start using them today. And your curly hair and your curly kids' hair, it will change your life and make it super easy. As you can see, that took all of about 12 minutes and he's done. And we're pain free and we're keeping it. Great one. Bye. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Until then, we're raising nine. See you next time.